now to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, and in front of you, you will see a stone. And usually, not in coronavirus, because there are no tourists now, people are actually touching it, and, and if they are buying something, they, want to, they are blessing it here. And that's done. Before we will talk about that, let's talk about how Jesus was um, crucified and died. Or here, let's talk about what's happened to, the, to him after he died. But before that, I want to show you a mosaic wall. And that mosaic wall, you can see uh, the story of that church. To the right, he was crucified. And on the gold altar, skull in Aramaic and Hebrew. And you can see the Golgotha Hill right in front of you. Next to it, after he died on the cross, around now, it's 3 o'clock, uh, 3 p.m., 1500 hours, so around it, they will purify the body of the dead. You must understand that the Jew, when a Jew died, he was, in Israel it's usually like that, um, if there's no other reason, they will bury him the same day. And they will purify the body of the dead, they will put a shroud around him, and he can hear, uh, and um, they will um, uh, carry him to the tomb that was given to him by Joseph of Arimathea, a Jewish priest. Then Jesus was buried as any other Jew in that area, because he was a Jew. According to tradition, that stone is what they anointed the body of Jesus after he died. That one. Then in that case, uh, you can uh, you must understand it. It smells amazing. It's so many incense of it, and there are few vases of three different churches that actually rule that church. The church is um, the church is um, owned by so many. Christian's order. Strange and beautiful, isn't it? And sadly, I'm the only one that I'm doing the tour for you. Please, please subscribe me and uh, send it to your friends. Church of the Holy Sepulchre. It's August 2020.